Brining the turkey involves soaking it in a salt solution until it absorbs some of the moisture and salt so that after you've roasted it, the turkey is moister and more flavorful. It's a pretty simple process. The only real uh, trick to it is finding a container to put the turkey and the brine in. There's a few options for that and we'll get to those in a few minutes, but first let's make the brine. To make the brine, first start with two quarts of water. You need to use a vessel that's quite a bit bigger than uh, the amount of salt and water that you're starting with because we're going to be adding more water to it afterwards. What we're doing here is really just making a brine base. So two quarts of water and one cup of salt. This is kosher salt. If you were to use regular salt, you would need to use less, maybe about three quarters of a cup of salt um, because kosher salt is fluffier and there's less of it in a cup. And then this is a quarter cup of sugar. So uh, the next step is to just dissolve the salt and the sugar in the water. If you wanted to add more flavor to your brine, you could add some herbs and spices and now would be a good time to do it. I'm going to put this on the stove over medium high heat and just warm it, stirring every now and again until it's the salt and sugar is dissolved. I'm going to take your brine off the stove and let it cool to room temperature. And once the brine is cooled to room temperature, you're going to add another two quarts of liquid. This is water, but you could also add another kind of liquid that's more flavorful. That's another way to get more flavor into your brine, like apple cider or even coffee. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge and chill it until it's completely cold. So once your brine is nicely chilled, your next step is to find something to put the turkey and the brine in. If you have a lot of room in your fridge, uh, a big pot like this or a bucket that's clean and, and sanitized is, is uh, one easy way to go. And all that's involved in that is putting the turkey in there and pouring the brine over it. If you have a little less room in your refrigerator, you can also brine the turkey in a bag. Uh, there are oven bags made for roasting turkeys, which are also really good for brining them. Or around the holidays, you might also see brining bags, which are like giant Ziploc bags that are made specifically for brining turkeys. So to brine the turkey in a bag, you want to double up on the oven bags, if that's what you're using, since they're not really made for liquid. Just a little extra insurance. So open them both up. They do come to you to a box, so you only need to buy one box. When I do the brine in bag method, I like to use a roasting pan too, just in case there are any leaks. Okay, and then once they're doubled, fold down the, the edges. That'll help the bag stand up on their own. Next, you want to put the turkey in. You want to put it in breast side down because the breast is what you really want to be in contact with the brine, so if it's down, you're for sure going to get it nicely into the brine. Then you just want to make sure that the bag is standing up nice and straight and pour the brine over it. If you're a little nervous about pouring the brine into the bag, have a helper hold the bag open for you. The great thing about the bags is that you can get you can get a lot of a little brine around a lot of turkey by pulling the inside bag really tight. It forces the brine to come in contact with the bird. So take the inner bag and really pull it tight and the brine will come up around the turkey and then twist it. Seal it with a tie. And then do the same thing with the outer bag. Now I'm just going to put the turkey in the fridge and let it sit for about 12 to 18 hours. If you're really strapped for fridge space and you live in an area where it's cool outdoors, you can use a cooler to brine your turkey. Make sure your cooler has been sanitized with bleach first and is nice and clean. And it's uh, of a size that will fit the turkey pretty snugly because you want the brine to come up over the turkey. So start by putting the turkey in the cooler again, breast side down. Then add your brine. In order to offset the ice melt, I've added an extra half cup of salt to the brine. Next, to keep the turkey cool, add ice. Keep adding ice until the turkey is submerged. 10 to 15 pounds should do it. Store the cooler in a cool place where it's safe from animals, like a screened-in porch or your garage or even the trunk of your car. And remember, no matter how you brine your turkey, before you roast it, you'll want to rinse it and pat it really dry.